G Suite is not just a powerful email provider, it is an all-in-one business productivity and communication hub that has all the tools and apps you need for your wholesale business. Let's get into it. What's up everybody, Scott Perry with Indie Solution, and today we're talking about what Google Suite is, how to set up for your wholesale business, and how we incorporate it into our everyday workflow. But before we dive in, make sure you destroy that like button to show us some love and subscribe down below for more real estate related content. So yes, while most people think of Google as an email provider, and yes, it is a great email service that you should use instead of your old gamer tag, it also offers all the tools and apps you'll need to run your wholesale business from day to day. The Google Suite includes email service, free cloud storage, document creation, spreadsheets, and quite a few other tools that you can dive into if you're interested. Just so you're aware, Google Suite is free for most users like mentioned before and is offered on all major device platforms for team collaboration. For our wholesale business, we primarily use Gmail, Drive, Docs, and Sheets. So that's what we'll be focusing on in this tutorial. Now we're gonna show you how to set this up as if you're starting wholesaling on your own. Uh, ours will have a couple more folders. It's really not worth showing, uh, but that's just the more employees you get. Um, you'll have to organize it a little bit more. So we're gonna show you how to start it off uh, if you're just starting out on your own. So how we, when we started off on our own, this is how we did it. We have three primary folders. You're gonna have your legal documents. And you're gonna right click new folder here. We're gonna have lead gen. And then being a wholesale company, you're gonna need some properties, right? Okay, so these are our three primary folders. So lead gen, what you're gonna put in there is you're gonna have, uh, this is where all your cold call lists are gonna go, this is where your uh, mailers, if you have address lists that you're gonna mail people, you're gonna throw all that in here for lead gen. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, legal documents, that's gonna be anything with your business. As far as lead gen and legal docs, we really don't have folders within those folders. Uh, we basically just have the files because uh, there's not a ton of them. Legal docs, this is you know your LLC information, any tax information you need, uh, pretty self-explanatory. So think of you know lead generation, obviously lead generation. Legal docs, that's gonna be your um, anything business related. All right, now properties, this is where you're gonna wanna have multiple folders within the folder. So this is how we have our setup. We're gonna have new contracts. Then we're gonna have sent to buyers. Then we're gonna have sold. And then we're gonna have expired. All right, so new contracts, again, self-explanatory. That's where you're gonna put in the house information and the pictures once you get that house under contract. Then you're gonna move it, once you send it to buyers, you have all the stuff worked out, you have the email created, send it to buyers, you're gonna move that house information over to sent to buyers. Then obviously, once you sell the house, you'll move it to sold, self-explanatory. Uh, however, there is a case where the contract may expire. Maybe the people decided, hey, we don't wanna move, maybe we need another six months. Uh, we had a house that expired because the lady decided that she didn't wanna move right away. And so we called her three months later and we ended up selling it because she was ready to move and made a good profit off that one. So that's why we move everything around through these folders, especially the expired one. That's gonna be kind of a follow-up list a month or two down the road. So let me show you how we move this through the, uh, the deal pipeline, if you will. So new contracts, we're gonna create a new, new house under contract. We'll just say 123 Main Street. And then pro tip, put the whole address on here because once you start doing more of these, you'll start virtual wholesaling a little bit. Maybe not in other states, but in other cities. And it's really annoying when you have three, one, two, three main streets, uh, which has happened to us before. So make sure you put the city and zip code and all that stuff on here. Um, so you're gonna go in, create this folder for the house. Obviously, once you start doing more houses, you'll have more folders. You're gonna click on here. And again, another pro tip here, this is what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna have a separate picture folder for each house within that house's folder. So what we'll have in here is we'll have this folder for pictures. We'll also have the um, signed purchase agreement 
and then also we'll throw in the assignment contract as well later and any other information we need. So we're going to go into pictures and the reason you have a picture folder is because you'll have, let's say you have 40 pictures in here. What you're going to do is you're going to click link sharing on and you're going to share the link to these folders to your buyers list and that's how they're going to see all these pictures because um, you can't email 500 people, you know, 300 photos. So make sure that when you share the photos, you share from here, the picture folder. So you're going to want to share from here. That way, the link that's used in the email, when they open it, it will open as if you're clicking on this folder and you'll see all the pictures. If you share from here, you click on a photo. If there are photos in here, you can right click, share. That link will only open that specific photo. So make sure that you share the folder and not the photo. So now let's say, you know, we're in new contracts right net right here. You can see kind of the progression up here. Main, what new contracts. All right, so here's Main Street. New contracts, got it signed. Now we send it to the buyer's list. You're gonna go down here. You're gonna go to move to. Go back. You're gonna go to sent to buyers. Move here. Now when you go to the property section, you're gonna go sent to buyers. There you go. Now you send it to buyers. You sold it. Now you're gonna send it to the sold. Uh, some people just remove remove them after they sell them. Uh, we keep them, that way we have a history of all the properties we sold just in case we need information later. And that's basically how you're gonna run the uh, Google Drive as somebody who's just starting out in wholesaling. And again, remember, pro tip, make that expired one so you can follow up with those leads later. Um, and like I said, for us, it's paid big dividends. We've sold houses that have expired you know, three, six months later. Now we're going to jump in to Google Docs and show you how that works. So from the drive, you're going to click up here on these dots and you're going to go down to Google Docs. And since it's a new account, you can take a tour. Now here you go, you can see Google Docs is really just a replacement for Microsoft Word or something like that. So you can create new document, blank document, resume, letter, you got all these templates. So let's go ahead and make a new document. And this is if you wanted to make some kind of purchase contract, right? So purchase contract. This is where we do all our document creation. Now what you're gonna do is click up here, Untitled Document, and let's just call it uh, Scott Perry Realty PA. Now the nice thing is this auto saves so now you can see it opened a new tab up here. If I close this, now it's going to be down here. So, you know, it auto saves as you work on it. Then what you can do is you can share this document to other employees. So if you want to share it, you'd reopen it. You'd hit the share button. And then you can type in, you know, if you want to share it with somebody, you just type in their email here and they'll pop up and they'll get an email notification. And then you actually can both edit this document at the same time live, which is real nice because there's things that we do where we'll do calls and we'll be editing something together on the phone. So very helpful. So that's a quick explanation of how Docs works. Again, uh, you know, we'd move this into a folder uh, if we needed. If this was a legal document, we'd put it up here, right? If it was lead gen related, we'd put it up here. So um, that's Google Docs, real simple. If you have any questions, again, you can let us know in the comments. Now we're going to show you how we actually set up this lead gen form with Google Sheets from PropStream. If you're not familiar with Google Sheets, it's very similar to Microsoft Excel. Now to get to it, again, you click on these dots up here, you scroll down and you got Sheets. But the problem is you're going to need data to put in those documents. So to get that data, we use PropStream. Now if you're not familiar with PropStream, we have multiple videos on our YouTube channel that you can look at that we take you step by step and show you how we do all the things we're about to talk about. Uh, so you would have created a list in PropStream, pulled that list, then you would have skip traced them to get phone numbers. And we're gonna show you a test list we did here of skip traced um, phone numbers. So here we go, we've got the property addresses, uh, mailing address, phone numbers, and we're gonna, this to Google Sheets. Now this is on a Mac OS so it may be a little different for people on PC. Uh, so you're going to select these. 
you're going to export. Then on Mac, you're going to have to go to Finder. Then what you're going to do is you're going to drag the list in. Now what it's going to do is it's going to open it as a document. We don't want it as a document. We want it to be as a Google Doc. We want to make sure that it opens as a sheet. That way you can organize information. So what you do is you right click. And you're going to go open with Google Sheets. Opens a new tab over here. And there's all the information. Now this is just like we said Microsoft Office, uh, if you're familiar with that over Sheets. Uh, however, again, this is free. That's why we use the Google Suite. And we can manipulate this in the same way we can put formulas. As you can see, we've got uh, PropStream's nice because it actually tags it as a landline or cell phone. So we primarily target cell phones over here. And then we'll organize them. Now that it's in this kind of format, we can actually move it into an auto dialer, auto texter, um, any other kind of software we want to use for lead gen. So again, a nice thing, we can change this. We're going to say SP Realty first test list. All right, so now I can just close it, and you're going to see it right here in the drive. And I'm going to go ahead and remove this Google Doc version. And I'm going to move this, I believe you actually can, click and drag here in the lead gen. And let's just say this is our purchase contract, right? So we'd throw that in legal documents. And there you have it, a nice organized Google Drive using all the other apps. And there, again, be reminded that if you click this, there's a lot of other apps you have access to. You've got slides over here. We use that sometimes for investors if they want some kind of presentation. A whole lot of other things that Google Suite offers. And so you got just a quick overview again, we've got the lead gen here with our first test list. Legal docs, that's where you're going to have your purchase agreement, business stuff, and properties, that's going to be where all your house information is. Google Suite is a powerful software we use and think you should be using in your business if you're not already, because it gives the user pro-level tools for free. And while yes, there are similar, more powerful business tools like what Microsoft or Apple has to offer, we just feel this one checks all the boxes we need for free. Next week, Brent will be going through our CRM of choice in a similar format, so stay tuned. If there's something additional you'd like to know more about, comment below. Remember, as always, to like and subscribe for more real estate-related content. I'm Scott Perry. Peace.